so nice to see you all on a Sunday here in uh, wherever we are. Where are we, Chris? Who knows? I don't know. It's floating somewhere in the ether. Uh, welcome to today's Ferry Hopkins show. So uh, this uh, today we're doing MHM 006, which is You Look Familiar. Now, this was released uh, at the same time as my first album, uh, well, the same year, in 2010. Um, but it was a fairly long time in the making, I can tell you this, you know, off the record. Um, I've lost, I've lost parts of it. So here we are. So we've just, so we sold out of the original, and then we had it repressed. Uh, and Morgan rejigged the artwork to fit this new cardboard format we're using. Uh, but um, because we all thought it was perfect, there are no other alterations except for the lyrics in this book, uh, which we've added this time. Some beautiful artwork. And I'll explain more as we go along as to the context and everything like that. Look, there's us looking moody on a hillside up the Gurid in South Wales. OK, well, without further ado, I'm going to sing the first song. And here it is. It's called America. And um, Morgan now lives in America. He did not stir away on a boat. Um, so he says. So he says. I think you've got on a plane. Um, <laughs> Uh, but my mum was inspired about the story of a young man moving to America for a new life. Here we go. One, two, three, four. These northern city streets are cold at night.
thank you. Ah, that's such a lovely song. Uh, now, on that song, um, we had some guests. Uh, Morgan got some guest musicians on. We've got Carl Brazil on the drums, uh, uh, who does a lovely, lovely thing on that. Um, there are some other guests on the album, and I'll introduce those later, <laughs> <laughs> even though we're not necessarily playing the songs they're on. Um, I can't get the Ouija board out. <laughs> yeah. Um, so anyway, uh, so that was America. Uh, we love playing that one. We play that quite often in our other sets. Um, so, yeah, it's just a joy to work through this album. It is as fresh as the day it was released. I don't think this album will go out of date, really. Uh, so what happened was uh, is that uh, some they wrote together and Morgan had mostly backing tracks. Well, I say backing tracks, compositions, um, uh, or instrumentals and Mary took a fancy to some of them and wrote melodies and lyrics on top and the vocal arrangements and I think together they do a most amazing job uh, I'd like to say hello to you all it's so wonderful uh, I don't know uh, yeah all time zones matter I don't know which one is the best one to pick <laughs> when you're playing to people around the world I know we've got people in America uh, there's someone in a uh, couple of you in the far north of Scotland uh, there's someone in Finland and there's a couple of you in Japan how lovely well we had Japan in mind when we did this time slot as well but it makes a nice brunch UK slot too but it's going to be an hour later because the coffee doesn't have time to yeah, kick I in. Yeah, I think maybe an hour later. If you could stretch to nine in Japan, that'd be great. So, konbanwa. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Thank you for coming. <laughs> yeah. uh, this next one is called People Say. I'm not quite sure what scenario Mary had in mind, maybe personal experience, but it's about playing the game as you see fit for yourself, I believe. One. Do I just start? Just start. Sit side by side, watch the sun going down See the lights coming on all over town We only met two hours ago But I like you a lot and I don't want to go No, I don't want to go I say I'm hungry, I could do with some dinner There's a great little restaurant just round the corner You say you live two minutes away I could catch the last bus Or I could stay, but whatever would people say Why do I care what they say? is gone. Well, I would explain why I couldn't go home. We could ring for a taxi, but oh, what a shame. I just can't get the number, and it's starting to rain. We could go to your flat. You could make me some coffee. Go up on your sofa and take our shoes off. We don't have to rush. This is just our Day. We're not in a hurry, there's more fun to wait We can watch a late movie on the TV Don't have to get naked, well that's up to me If you light a fire, we'll be cozy and warm And 
it's really difficult doing these songs. Thank you so much. Um, when you've got the song in your head and you're playing them and there's layers of harmonies, Mary likes harmonies as much as I do and layers things up and, you know, contraflow, contraflow melodies, contrapuntal, contra, uh, cantilevered, I don't know. Anyway, other melodies. Cantilevered. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Architectural. It's architectural, isn't it? Um, and then you've got all these riffs coming in of Morgans and counter melodies and all that. It's counter melodies, that's uh, So, yeah, <clears throat> it's a lot to take on. And uh, I don't know if we're brave or just stupid, but um, I just love this album. I put the CD on, uh, this CD, obviously, which is just released on Mary Hopkin Music. Um, re-released I should say, repressed, and I put it on to check the CD and I couldn't help listen to it all over again and it's just joyful. Uh, and I'm very proud of them both. Yes. Yes. Um, so there. Here is the news. Uh, <laughs> sorry, that's silly. <laughs> Actually, it is quite apt. What? Well, given the content of Pretenders. this song. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of themes on this album as well. There's some uh, real like uh, pointing out evil themes, and there's also some very spiritual themes, uh, of which I'll explain more later. This one, I remember this. Uh, I remember this in its original form. Uh, I think it was called Bo Diddley, working title because it's got that great rhythm to it. But Mary's. Mary's written it about I think, people in the media who are kind of phony. And it's called Pretenders. One, two, three, four.
Thank you very much. Ah, so yeah, that is a fabulous song. And so there's two choruses. The first chorus is saying, it's, I think that's Morgan's melody, and then Mary, Mary wrote her melody for the chorus and uh, just, you know, put the, put the both in. So, um, you know, it works. These kinds of work. These, uh, the These <laughs> kinds of work. Of speech. <laughs> These kinds of things really work. And to get the full effect, of course, you need to listen to the album. Uh, now this, talking of a lot to take on, this is a lot to take on. So this uh, this is kind of the first, one of the first to be recorded. And I remember, uh, uh, I'm not sure if you should give away the age of an album, but I remember um, coming home from school, age 12, and then going up the road uh, to Barry Barlow's house. Barry Barlow, you know, one of the Jethro Toll drummers, good friend of ours, had a studio there. Oh, it still does, in fact. And uh, I went up there and Mary and Morgan were there recording this song, um, which has since been tweaked and I think I re-recorded a lot of it and I recorded my re-recorded my vocals. But I'm only on the first and second chorus on the original because then I had to go home and do my homework. Uh, but there I was in my Abbey School uniform doing backing vocals. Um, and it's a fabulous song and there is a video to go with it, a refurbished video as well to go up soon as well that Morgan's done. But the scenes are filmed... Uh, in and around Ponta Dawe, so you know, up the mountain, and then there's scenes from Port Talbot, uh, and obviously the uh, conjunction between Mother Nature and industry, which is what, what it's all about. There aren't scenes from here, but yeah, that kind of thing. So Morgan and his wonderful photography, and Mary's artistic inputs, so yeah. Let's see if we can do it justice. Three, four. At the first impression She seems to be a gentle soul Don't push too hard It's in her power to kill us all run freely now and you may drown in her despair the wounds you cleave no longer heal the warning's clear you must take care don't be a fool don't bite the hand that feeds you be good to her and she Take great care of you Her passion rages now Just try to soothe her if you dare by now you must know how she feels The warning's clear, you must take care And for a while She'll let you walk all over her You cheat, you lie Inflict the wound, she bears the pain This can't go on She's bad Turn on you in time She'll take her gun And blow us all to kingdom come Oh yeah She seemed to be a gentle soul The game is up It's in her power to end it Don't bite the hand that feeds 
cheated you, you cheat, you lie. She's bound to turn on you in time. She'll take her gun and blow us all to pieces. She'll take her gun and blow us all. Blow us all to hell All the pieces Blow us all to hell All to hell Oh, thank you so much. Yes, the chords are beautiful, which is why it's important not to screw them up. <laughs> Again, Sorry. usually. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Morgan. And of course, I had to uh, alter. So when I did the backing vocals on those, well, me, me and Mummy together, it was um, and for a while. Oh, but of course, they that. overlap. So yeah. Uh, so we've had to improvise, but I think it works all right. Still gets the point across, doesn't it? And uh, good lord, if it was true ten years ago, or well, gosh. Shh, don't, don't don't do it, love. Don't do it. <laughs> Keep some mystique. <coughs> if it's true. If it was true back then, when I used to read the early times and clip out all of the environmental uh, stories and make a scrapbook of them, it's certainly true now. Uh, so, yeah, there we are. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, so then to cheer us up, I just need to check whether I've left any out yet. Um, oh, we did leave one out. We left Heaven Knows out. So Heaven Knows is one I just can't replicate on the guitar, uh, you know, and what we have between us. <laughs> but it's still a wonderful song. And uh, again, it's about overcoming some hypocrisy and all that kind of stuff. All that kind of stuff, you know. I can't see this without my glasses. This is riveting watching. This is riveting. No, I mean, this is really I'm where I'm trying to recall at. the lyrics. I should have done them in, in, in situ. We hope and pray we've seen the last of you, basking in the light of your false humility. I mean, good Lord. She was going deep, man. She always does, but she was going deep at the time. Anyway, um, so now we're on Time of Your Life, which is about cheering the hell up. <laughs> Don't read the bleeding news. Whoa, one, two, three, four. Oh yeah. One, two, three, four. Tell you, Mr. Misery, it's time you were thinking how to set yourself free. Running away won't get you very far. Let's try to remember who you really are. Think no one notices when you put yourself down. So don't go spreading all this hate around. It's clouding your vision. You see in black and white. No color your future's not too bright but you're holding the time of your life you're holding the time of your life in your hands all those worries hidden deep inside fears they cannot be denied every little feeling every little word every whisper curse that you think i haven't
know, sing ad infinitum, <laughs> beautiful harmonies, all that kind of stuff. <laughs> I, think, I don't know if it's in the intro to this or the ex outro to this show. Might be in there. It you might can be, hear. Yeah. <laughs> After this, on the album uh, "Time of Your Life," comes Eve's Revenge. Now, this song, this song, you know, all demoed, all wonderful. Uh, but of course, you know, the final production started just before the album came out, and uh, Morgan at the time uh, was spending a couple of years back in the UK, uh, and he had stationed himself in um, in our dad's old studio, in fact, Good Earth, which is now Dean Street Studios, run by Jazz, uh, Jazz Lee and Suzanne Lee, Jazz is Alvin Lee's daughter. Um, so anyway, Morgan was there, and so that was pretty cool, working in the old gaff, uh, which we were very used to as kids. He managed to track down a certain saxophone player, and he presented my mother with the recording, and she went absolutely wild. Because <laughs> when I got my first saxophone, age 10, uh, which is not the one I have now, it's a precursor, but uh, there was me honking and squeaking and trying to get a note out of this thing. Morgan, who is slightly older and far more talented than I am, picked it up and played Baker Street before I could get a note. I mean, he'd never played a saxophone before. Uh, this is how flipping, flaming talented he is. Um, so anyway, so, but I, I carried on regardless. So now I can play Baker Street, you know, if required. Uh, so, um, so of course we all loved that song. And so Morgan got Raphael Ravenscroft to play saxophone on Ease Revenge. How cool is that? So Raph came along to Dean Street and recorded the saxophone on Ease Revenge. I can't replicate the song. Uh, it's another complicated arrangement. I'm not going to try and do it justice, but you should hear the track. It's brilliant. And it's about uh, a woman, you know, woman's power over gullible men. <laughs> so, yeah, so that's all. Bless, bless you, Raphael. Uh, what a fantastic you, sax player. Um, thank you for the contribution. It's incredible. So, um, but following that, I'm going to have a little tune. Following that song, um, is another lovely tune. Cheeky tune. The joke being <coughs> that it's a dog eat dog world. But some people have misheard it. I'm moving the wrong knobs. I'm not concentrating. Some people mishear this saying and say it as something else. And so on that premise, this song... It's raining cats and dogs. It's right, raining right. cats. Do you know in Wales they say, my buru hen a fin, which means old women in sticks, which is weird, but that's the Welsh for you. <laughs> One, two. No. no. his job and his company car 20 years service and he's out on his ass now he's looking for solace in the bottom of a glass the landlady gives him a smile she says hey there joe ain't seen you in a while it's a working day so what you doing around here she pretends not to notice as he wipes away a tear the bar is full It's dark outside and he's still drinking No more pain and no more thinking No one hears the last bell ring As they lift their glasses everybody sings All together now, one, two, three It's a doggy dog world, it's a doggy dog world It's a doggy 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 dog world It's a doggy dog world
point, Chris. Got a point of arsenic, please. Oh, no, it's been a bad week, has it? Don't get me started. Oh, no. Well, I'll tell you what, have one on the house, it'll cheer you up. For a minute or so, yeah. Oh. I don't know who I am anymore. Oh, I do like that track. We had great fun recording that. Uh, of course, uh, is Mary barking like a dog at the end? Uh, and because she does have a quirky, somewhat quirky sense of humour, but it's good fun, that song. Um, and that is me at the end going, I don't know who I am anymore. It is, Chris. Uh, we've got Bar Waller on there, haven't we? Yeah. We've got Glasses Clinking. Glasses Isn't that, that's clinking. our own Waller, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, from yeah, the studio from, event. From studio, yeah. Oh. Space Lounge Christmas. Oh, yeah. So uh, lots of Atmos in that. I still, I'd still, i still love to make a video, you know, man in a pub. Um, Morgan Morgan has a couple of miniature schnauzers and they're adorable. Really hangdog stern impressions. <laughs> I thought they would have featured very well. Uh, so i uh, going to have some more of this liquid refreshment, which is just water. Promise. Uh, oh. It's so wonderful hanging out with you guys on a Sunday brunch or a Sunday evening or breakfast even, wherever you are around the world. Uh, so this next one is a really special one. I mean, they're all special, but this particularly special for a couple of reasons, which I will explain. It has to do with this beautiful kata, which is hanging behind us. You might get that in, a, in high definition. Yes, high definition. Uh, should have ironed it. I'm sorry, Chimmy. Uh, so this is called Chimmy, uh, not Chime, as you've seen it, seen it written. Uh, Chimmy. Chimmy rhymes with Jimmy, as Chimmy himself would say. Chimmy Rinpoche, eh, Lama Chimmy. I can't remember his full title because we just know him as Chimmy, our friend. <coughs> we are honoured to know. Now, Chimmy was the Buddhist teacher. Is is the Buddhist teacher, but he was the teacher of David Bowie. David Bowie met him, introduced him to my parents as well, and uh, they all stayed good friends, but uh, students first and foremost for my parents, but I regard him as a friend. We went out for a, uh, a pasta lunch one day. He says, uh, all my students, all my students, crazy, crazy, he says, but their children, very sensible people. So thank you, Chimmy. Just goes to show even the wisest of wise men can be wrong, doesn't it? <laughs> quite how badly wrong <laughs> he's got a great sense of humor too uh <laughs> so jimmy had a celebration uh at the quaker house in london euston road um to celebrate his 50 years of teaching in the west now jimmy came over from tibet um and of course was exiled and has an most amazing story to tell he came over with two other lamas uh and westernized himself uh in order to to understand how us westerners work and became a very uh, successful popular teacher and very wise man uh, and a lovely man too. So um, so this is in honour of Chimmy and we were asked to sing it at ch that celebration. We were first up on stage. I was flipping nervous. So there's us. Chimmy is sat on his big chair to, to uh, whichever way it was, that side I think, uh, and a whole row of uh, Buddhist monks in their robes in front and all Chimmy's friends and, and students in front of us. <laughs> so I was extremely nervous. We just come back from playing America, playing to you know yeah. two thousand people a night or something around then, the world. You know. <laughs> and this, I'm just nervous thinking about it. Uh, but we managed it in the end. And uh, I ran off stage, just you know, shaking with fear. And then they came into the dressing room and said, "No, no, you've got to come back. Jimmy wants to give you his kata." So uh, I didn't realise that all the performers had these katas, but I, I, well, we both got these very special ones, these very wide ones. And uh, Jimmy puts it round your neck, and he gave me a forehead bump which is the greatest mark of respect. It's such an honour. So, Chimmy, this is for you. And Chimmy, since you used this on lovely film about his life, I'll try and find it and post the link as well. When I wander off the track Lose my There's a voice that calls me back Guides me through the darkest day Jimmy, 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 Jimmy Jimmy, 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 Jimmy Jimmy, 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 Jimmy my eyes to see 
song does tend to ebb and flow somewhat blimey <laughs> so when i'm singing that of course i'm singing i sing on that too morgan sings rinpoche 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 <laughs> it's a wonderful song uh so many parts and i'm just trying to pick one and stick with it uh so love and respect to chimmy rinpoche god bless you uh it's wonderful to know you um there we are this next one is also incredibly difficult to sing. Not necessarily because <laughs> of the parts, but because I burst into tears uh, at the end every single time. So bear with me. I'm gonna have a little tune. Very spiritual. Uh, people have tried to claim Mary as this religion or that religion or this religion or politics or this way or that way. She has extremely strong convictions in uh, right and wrong. And she tries to keep an even keel spiritually. So I guess these songs really speak to that inclination. Uh, very important to keep an even keel. This has got an awesome intro on it, this has, with the old, all the delay and everything on the guitar. <sighs> yeah. The delayed harmonics and everything. Yeah, of course I'm gonna play that for you now. No. <laughs> yeah, really bears listening, obviously. and turning in your bed Fighting demons in your head Keeping watch the whole day through Think the world is out to get you People can be so Take it in their stride Bite your lip 
I didn't burst into tears that time. Oh my goodness! The way Mary sings this, I did. My hair did stand on end. I'm not. Well, my hair stood on end trying to reach those notes, but uh, when Mary sings it, you'll find me waiting. I've never been so near. Oh God! Oh, I've got to move on, otherwise I'll burst into tears. There we are. Thank you, Mum. Maybe it is something about having my mother sing those words. Oh. Probably. <laughs> anyway, uh, well, look, that's it for you. Look familiar. And we're not done yet. We're going to pretend that you're all clapping and shouting more, and we're going to turn around, turn around, and count to ten. <laughs> so, I did. Did you, did you see what see she what, did there? See what yes. I did there. Uh, and we're going to sing a couple of encores because you know I had to leave a couple out. Um, so this is the album. It's beautiful, really beautiful. You should get it. And uh, yeah, and look, I'm in. I'm in the inside as well. These pictures are just so great. We shot them at Mary's house. You can see Mary's floorboards and everything. Uh, we had really good fun in the house, and then. On the hillside, yeah. So the lonely it's goat herd. <laughs> lonely goat herd, no sheep dogs. Um, so yes, and it really was that windy. There's me and Mary being blown over. Um, so yeah, it's a real family effort. Obviously, the onus is on Mary and Morgan, but I got my shoe in there somehow, and I'm very, very honoured, 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 Mary and Morgan, mother and brother, to be a part of it. Uh, so there we are. Um, so this next one uh, is also a Mary and Morgan production. Written by Mary, performed by Mary, sung by Mary, but Morgan puts this just little sprinkling of fairy dust on it with the arrangement. Uh, and this is from the Paint of My Numbers album. It's called Gold and Silver. Talking of Gold and Silver, uh, the PayPal link is above. <laughs> That's not what the song is about. Subtle. PayPal link is above Chris's head. If you wish to buy us uh, a pint or a cup of tea or anything like that. Um, so, yes. Uh, you can also buy us at coffee.com if you prefer that method. Or you just buy the albums as well. Buy Mary's albums. They're all fantastic. We're working on a new one. Uh, buy all Morgan's albums too. You can find him at morganvisconti.com. Uh, everybody's fabulous. Uh, so here we are, gold and silver. Ugh. Dying for the moment When you lie again beside me Taste the salty tears I thought would never end Gold and silver Run your river deep inside me Gold and silver stream the glistens in my hand Give me Give to me Your gold and silver Give Too long apart, our love is 
take me down Give me Give to me Your gold And silver Oh, thank you very much. That is, uh, there's a lovely video for that as well. Mary, Mary looking very moody in gold and silver. It goes from silver to gold. To gold. Yeah. Someone actually said, oh, the thing is a problem with this video. <laughs> <laughs> it changes <laughs> colour. You screwed up your lighting or something. So it huh? does. It does change colour. Oh, well boy. That uh, was a man who said it as well. Yeah, man, mansplained the video. Um, so, yeah, that's on, on, on this very channel, in fact. Um, so, uh, normally, uh, we'd say, sing one of Mary's, uh, you know, chart-topping hits from the olden days. But uh, this time, we can't say goodbye. <laughs> See what I did there? Did you put it there? Oh yeah, because uh, because this is one of Morgan's. We thought we'd do one of Morgan's, um, which I've had the pleasure of singing with him live, and it requires a capo. There's another fabulous video. This beautiful animation in space. Stunning. Up video. in space. Well, stunning song. Stunning song. Um, so thank you for watching. Oh, I haven't got a title. This one. Ready. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, so here we are. Thank you for watching. This is Can't Say Goodbye by Morgan Visconti. You have been watching Jessica and Christian singing. Very Hopkin, very Visconti. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Here we go. Stayed up all night Searching my mind for words to leave Look in my eyes The truth can't hide but you can't see
Oh, well, thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Morgan, for writing that beautiful song and uh, Mary and Morgan for making such a stunning, stunning album. Uh, we're going to do this again uh, at the end of next month. Um, I don't know, another road we haven't done yet. Might have to do that one. Or Oh, no, uh, maybe no, no. Expo. Maybe the Expo, Expo shows. It's about yeah. around about now, uh, this time, or I think it was early July that Mary was in Japan uh, for Expo 70, and we did that last year, didn't we? Yeah. Uh, thank you for joining us. Do spread the word. It really helps if you spread the word, share our posts, uh, and give them a like, or well, share them, uh, and tell all your friends to come along. It really is, uh, it means a lot to us, uh, and it's good to have people watching. Yeah. So um, have a wonderful month, um, and uh, just be wonderful and be happy, and don't pay attention to the news because it's so awful. And um, yeah, be good and enjoy the sunshine if you have it. Uh, bon voyage, domo arigato. Thank you very much, Jochen Vaur, and um, merci. Come on, England. And um, yes, come on, England. See you soon. Bye. Ciao again.